What's up, Hot Wheel homies? Mark Datsaman Diecast here for another podcast. This one's very important. I'm surprised I haven't done this one yet, but this one came to me today. I uh, posted a video on YouTube kind of about you know, relating to it, but proper Hot Wheel or Diecast etiquette. Um, just some basic things to be respectful and just some just some common sense things that some people struggle with. So we're going to we're going to talk some of those about some of those things today. Um you know, just just how to be respectful, how to be kind, courteous, um, you know, for everyone that out there that their their parents didn't teach them manners. Maybe maybe we can help. Maybe I can help. Um because I feel like my parents taught me good manners. And uh let me know if you guys agree with that. Uh from anyone who's dealt with me before in the past. Um, let me know if you have anything uh, in the comments below that I missed, because I'm going to miss a bunch of things. But uh, just just comment below, please, because uh, this is important stuff. So listen up. If you're new to diecast or collecting or if you trade with people or if you're out there hunting, uh, this is all good stuff to know. And make sure you're not, not doing stuff, you know, wrong, basically, or rudely. Or let's uh, let's talk about it. So first. Uh, when tw- uh, one that I covered today in, in my video, kind of a little spoof video that I did, is when trading with people, and this really has maybe happened to me like once, but I've heard it happen to a lot of people, and and some people out there have been lucky to never deal with any kind of issues with when, with tr- uh, trading. So it can be frustrating because as as simple as it sounds, some people you're you're trading a a super treasure hunt that you found and it was $1. And then maybe you're trading it with a person that paid $40 for that convention car. And he really wants that. So it's all, it's all about a lot of it is not so much about the worth. It's about that both sides feel like they're getting a good end of the deal. But always remember that if you only paid a, if you got the car for free, you didn't pay much for it. And someone's trading you something that, that's worth a lot more. They paid a lot more for it. Just keep that in mind. Maybe throw some extra stuff in. But, you know, that's all part of the no- negotiations. But once once you've reached a agreement, then, you know, you've got some people that say, I'm going to throw some extra cars in there for you because I'm, cause I'm a nice guy, nice gal. And uh, that's fine if you want to do that. It's just good to not announce it. Just, just do it. Don't tell the person you're going to throw in a bunch of extra cars. Just send them some extra cars. Be nice. And then, you know. Don't expect them to to do the same back and send you some extra cars because that's not a gift. It takes the whole the whole thing away, the thought away. You know, the nice gesture kills it. So yeah, just just be nice to each other when you're trading. Um, with what I don't I don't trade, and uh, I've done a couple of trades here and there with like friends, but mostly I'm just um, I just want to give things away, things that they need. I know that they'll send me stuff when I need it. We're not keeping track of who sent who what. You know, I love giving uh, diecast and cars out and to, to people that need stuff or people that are just really engaged in my channel or my podcast. You know, it's, it's, it's something I enjoy doing. I don't necessarily enjoy trades much. So personally, I don't do it. But for anyone else out there, cool. It's, it's totally fine to do. Uh, trade and not have to spend more money and get some of the cars that you want or trade a bunch of cars for that one car. Um, I'm totally okay with that. And, you know, like I said, I don't do it much, but I'd be willing to someday if I wanted to trade 50 cars for that one Datsun 510 that I've been looking for, and I don't want to pay $200 for it. I don't see anything wrong with trading a bunch of cars um, that I've picked up over the years. So nothing wrong with trading. Just be, just be, be kind and respectful and um, if you're going to give some extra stuff, that's totally okay. I'm totally down with that. But don't expect anything in return because that takes away the gesture all altogether. So just remember that. Another thing is, you know, you got a lot of channels here. And this is a lot of stuff that my buddy Nas Nostalgic and Derek Honest, Honest Diecast have covered in some of their posts and everything and some of their videos. Um, don't beg for cars. Don't beg for things. Um, don't be a beggar. Because not all of us, we're, we're not rich. We don't have a ton of money. Um, we're people just like you, have nine to fives. Uh, we do this 
because it's a lot of fun and and I love entertaining people. You know, um, like I said, just I'm over here. You know, I try to spend money for new mics and uh, get, a, get a mixer for this thing. Uh, maybe get a better laptop, better camera, and it all costs money. And I'm not bringing anything in. So this this does cost. This is a hobby for me, just doing podcasts and, and uh, YouTube. It, someday it, it may be something that I can make money off of, but I'm not counting on it. So, and uh, it's not a must. It'd be it would be cool, but I love interacting with you guys regardless you know so don't beg for things please if you guys want to join somebody's giveaway or if there's a car that you've been looking for you just kind of want to gently throw out there like hey yeah i've been looking for that car for two years um that's fine just don't ask people for stuff Uh, especially there's a lot of people and this is mostly to new like new people to my channel or other people's channels that come in for free stuff There's uh, most all of my subscribers that are engaged in my channel and good people, quality, uh, you know, men and women. They, I I really don't have to worry about that, but it it does happen. People come in and say, hey, give me that Datsun 510 or send me that car. You're like, excuse me? Do I know you? And even if I did know you, like, it's just, it's not good to beg. So, so yeah, don't beg. Um, Don't necessarily ask for shout outs. Um, If you're a person that is in the community that I see that you're starting a new channel that you need help. Uh, if you want to send me an email, if you want to do whatever, I mean, I'll, I'll be more than likely to get your channel some more attention if I can. Um, I did my shout out Sunday thing last week. It's not going to be a every Sunday thing by any means, but I'll do it every once in a while to where we can get some more light on some smaller channels because we all started out there with one subscriber. We all started with zero subscribers actually. So yeah, I, there's no problem, but don't, yeah, don't ask for like shout outs and don't be disruptive in people's uh, live streams and try to self promote because uh, there's plenty of time and there's a time and a place for that basically. And I can help you out for sure, but uh, time and a place for, for that. So just an FYI to anyone that's, you know, kind of new to the YouTube thing, kicking around and the same goes on Instagram and Facebook and stuff like that. So don't do it. Um, if somebody, if you're out hunting, um, and there's somebody that's already there, uh, you know, hopefully it's a collector and not a scalper, but they're looking through cars. Don't push your way in and start looking through the cars. Let them kind of look through stuff. They were there first. Let them look through the cars and see what they want and then get out of there. You know, maybe I, I always like to chat with people and be like, Hey, what are you looking for? And I'll help them find what they're looking for. You know, of course, if they're looking for a super treasure hunt, so am I. Um, but it wouldn't be beyond me to if if I already had something to give it to, to somebody else. So I like chatting with people and getting to know people. And sometimes it's nice to get to know whether they're an actual collector or they're, they're just scalping for a living. But, uh, you know, it's not like there's anything I can do to stop that. Because, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's people's, they have to make their own choices in life. But, uh, yeah, give people some space. Don't give them a stink eye. Let them kind of go through stuff. And hopefully they're respectful. They put things back. Don't make a mess. And um, they they don't take too much time because they see somebody else wants to look at these cars too. So, yeah, just kind of try to get out of people's way and uh, let them do their thing. You know, just don't invade their space and, and don't be rude to them. So, yeah, and then, you know, be nice to the employees that are there. If you happen to ask if they had any more in the back and they kind of go, no, stop asking. They get asked a lot and you have to remember they deal with scalpers all day long to where they're making a mess. Um, they're just ripping through things. They're just being super obnoxious. So to them, you're just another scalper. Unless they see you there on a consistent basis, being nice, being polite, putting cars back, um, helping organize things, just being very kind and respectful because that's how we all want to be treated in life. It's just kind and respectful. Um, so, you know, don't don't be that person that's rude to the employees there, short, call them, you know, call them names or whatever. Don't be that person because they're just there doing their job. And sometimes they're not willing to, to go above and beyond, but that's that's their prerogative, you know. You can't expect everyone to be like that. And though I encourage you to be like that and do whatever you do for a living to the best of your ability. I always encourage people to do that. You know, so be nice to the employees, all of them. Be nice to them. 
um, you know, they showed up. There's a lot of people not showing up and not working right now. So they're, they're working. They showed up. Congrats to them. You know, hats off. So, and then, you know, clean up after yourself is probably one of the biggest things here. Just clean up after yourself. Your mom doesn't work there. And if she does, she doesn't, she's definitely not going to clean up after you. She's going to beat you. Um, yeah, clean up after yourself. You're, you we're, la, 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 la. sorry guys. Sometimes I get tongue twisted. It's real, it's rough talking to yourself sometimes, just sitting here talking to myself, essentially. I know I'm talking to you guys, but I feel like I'm talking to myself sometimes. Anyways, sorry, it tongue twisted. I, I'm not going to edit that out. I pretty much don't edit any of these podcasts at all. Um, so, anyways, like I was saying, clean up after yourself. Your mom doesn't work there. And if she did, we wouldn't expect her to clean up after you there and at home or whatever. So, you know, clean. it's just common courtesy. You're not a, you know, you're not a little kid. You know, you're an, an adult, male or female or whatever. Um, maybe there's some, you know, dog collectors out there, kangaroos. I don't know. It's possible. I don't think it's likely. But anyways, that was dumb. Um, yeah, so clean up after yourself. And uh, they will see that you're cleaning up after yourself and cleaning up after others. I mean, I don't sit there and spend a ton of time cleaning up after others. But I will. I always leave it cleaner than I found it. Always. I always grab at least a couple cars and put them back up on the shelf, organize things. It just makes me feel better, too. Because that, I, you know, I'm just like, it makes me annoyed, of course, that people are in there making a mess. But it also makes me feel better to help out these people that have so much other things to do in the store then come to the, the Hot Wheels section and clean up the disaster that they have to deal with on a daily basis. So keep that in mind. And if you're if you're a collector or a hunter, that's my best advice to you. Just clean up after yourself. I think I've said that like 30 times so far, but I'm going to say it again. Clean up after yourself. Okay, so another thing is um, try to leave some, some uh, toys for others, you know, some Hot Wheels. Like if there's five of them, Try to leave one or two of that casting. Or, you know, maybe you want to take them all. That's totally up to you. But maybe give one away to a friend or sell it to your friend for what you paid for it. Or just do something nice. And and don't hide cars everywhere. Like, take all those ten cars and then hide them for your friend to find a year from now or never. Or they didn't come pick it up. Just, if you're going to buy them, <laughs> buy them from your friend, they're a dollar a piece. Buy them and then... Get them to your friend. Don't hide them in the Barbie section. It's weird. I get it for the people that want to do it for their friends. That he's going to come by in an hour and pick it up. But for stuff that just gets left there forever, a few days for the basically that's not cleaning up after yourself because the employees have to go um, find it and clean it up. So that goes back to cleaning up after yourself. And uh, you know another thing for just the people that you follow, the creators. Um, like I said, they're. They're normal people like you are too, so try not to blow them up on social media, um, in like Instagram, emails, wherever, chats, wherever you find can find them. Give them some breathing space. You know, it's okay to send people messages every once in a while, but don't uh, don't send them, don't spam them, and send them everything you find on the internet and expect them to get back to you in a timely manner or get mad if they don't get back to you, because. Uh, you know, as a creator, people that like do this because I enjoy it, I like entertaining people, but I don't owe anyone anything when it comes to that. I don't, I, I'll always message people back um, unless they're just harassing me or being super obnoxious uh, because, you know, I have, I have a life. I have a full-time job. I have a fiance. I have moving. I have a lot, of, I have a thousand things going on, a wedding coming up in two weeks. So if I don't respond to a message right away, um, or maybe I'll just like it um, if it's on Instagram and I'll move on. I don't have a ton to say about maybe the car that you just picked up. So just just keep that in mind, guys. We're we're like everybody else, and I, I know that there's been some other people that have touched this, like Nas, because I know he deals with it as well. But you know. We're no we're no different than the rest of you guys, but also just give us some breathing space sometimes because when we're not making content or 
live on a live stream or whatever we're doing, we're we're resting, like we're chilling, you know, we're trying to relax with our families and our friends and stuff like that. So give us some space, man. Give us some space. And um yeah, that's that's mainly the the stuff I have. Um just don't be greedy when it comes down to like your hobby. Uh when we collect these cars, you may have this car that you've been trying to attain for like for years and you get it and and it's awesome, but it's just a car. It's just a it's just a toy and you can't take it with you and, and maybe it loses some of its excitement cuz you finally found it. But just remember to to make friends, to be a part of the community of Diecast and love on people. Uh, that's what I like to call it, just love on people. There's nothing nothing sexual about that. Just love people um without any expectations back. And I call it and that's that's what that's called agape love. Um it's it's just love with without anything expected in return. So I just uh I would encourage people just to make new friends, love on people. If people say rude things to you, um, you don't have to put up that. If it's your own site, you can you can delete things or whatever. But, um, yeah, when people are really rude or say some really nasty things to my friends as well, um, like even like my friends online, if I see somebody talking to Derek that says something super rude or um, and just really mean or Nas or twice diecast or chuck or anybody um i'm gonna have a problem with that person i'm probably not going to respond to their comments and um they're really not welcome around my channel until they can apologize and and be nice and uh, be cordial with everyone basically you don't have to be nice to everyone but be cordial um don't be rude don't be mean um don't be a ex uh you know a beep word basically so so yeah be nice um, like I, like I've said before, uh, a lot of us come to this community and this diecast thing to kind of get away from um, the world and how how crazy it is right now. There's a lot of mean people out there too, and I, I deal with the general public, customer service, so I deal with a lot of rude people and a lot of people that are angry about who knows what. Uh, but they've got their I get that too. They've got their own things going on. But don't be an internet uh, keyboard warrior and um, go make people feel bad about themselves. Um, this is a place, uh, my channel and, and a lot of their channels, for, for people being positive, uplifting, and encouraging. And if you don't want to be that, then I don't want you around. I just don't. So that's a message to anyone that's listening that wants to be rude and uh, wants to be a downer um, that comes to my page. I, I don't need you around. So and it's, it's nothing. I don't hate you or anything like that at all. I don't hate anyone. Um, I may dislike some people. But um, and I'm also willing to to squash things and move on if you've said some things to me or others um, that I know about. And if you want to apologize, that's fine um, because life goes on. Squash it, and move forward. So just keep that in mind. Just be nice to each other. Um, there's this isn't like some big competition or war between Matchbox and Hot Wheels and scalpers and collectors. I mean, of course, we don't like it and we voice our opinions about it but i don't hate those people that do that i think they're misguided and i think they're greedy but there's a lot of people that like to partake in greed and all kinds of sin in this world so and uh and you know they can be forgiven and move on so yeah let's just make this place a better uh you know make the diecast world a better place um there's some you know great things you can do as a person in the community just be respectful and kind and, and have good manners so basically i mean that's that's about all i can think of off the top of my head and that's with me writing some of the stuff down because man i'm just sitting here talking to myself so i hope you guys enjoy my new microphone that i got it makes me talk different no it doesn't uh, but i probably do sound a little bit better than i did on my last mic so um you know Anything that you guys, um, I don't have any sponsors or anything like that, but anything that you guys throw my way, whether it's memberships or a couple bucks here and there, is appreciated because it's not cheap buying all this stuff, and I do it to bring you guys better content. So just keep that in mind. So I love you guys. I hope everyone's having a phenomenal day. 
uh, God bless you guys. Write in the comments below some things that you think are common mistakes by people being rude and solutions for them. Don't just complain about it. Come up with a solution. And uh, so put those comments below. I'd like to see some of them. I know I missed some stuff, but it's a good place just to talk about it. I mean, uh, you're not going to get anywhere without talking about these kind of things and making solutions for them. So together, we can help change it. So, all right, guys. God bless. Have a great weekend. Peace. Ow in your face.